What's going on, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, back again with another reaction video. Today, we're going to get into Mama featuring Nicki Minaj and Kanye West. So this is actually a Takashi 6 9 song with some of the biggest artists ever featured on it. That's crazy. But, you know, when 6 9 was popping, he was popping. Everybody and their mom knew who 6 9 was, couldn't take their eyes off him. And he's, you know, shock value, controversial rapper. He wasn't known for making amazing music, but uh, he definitely was known for being in the limelight and grabbing attention. So... I don't know what to expect. We're going to jump right into it. I hope you're having a good day. Come vibe with your boy. He usually gets on good beats and has good energy, you know, but he's not known for lyricism, that's for sure. Murder on a bitch, so it's not nice. Murder on a beat. Tiki Tiki Spanish mommy, she a hot tamale. Make him spend that money, dummy, go retarded for me. Pop it, pop it, pop it, she get started, she won't never stop it. Lil Dottie, Dottie, Roddy, choosing everybody. Split splash, pepper bottles, make that ass fat. She got that wet, wet, got me blowing through this whole bag. She got bees, spent some cheese, now they double D's. Thought I had the free kick around my mama, coming home at three. Whole thicker, thicker, thicker than a fucking snicker. Drug dealer, professional pop whipper. In the winter, buy a whole chinchilla. I just bought my bitch from Kylie Jenner, lit fellas. Man, oh my god. She Instagram famous, but she can't keep a job. Ooh. Man, oh my God, swipe a 30 inch weave on a sugar daddy car. Ooh. Okay. Man, oh my God, her doctor got a bussin' out her motherfucking bra. Mm. Man, oh my God, she Uber to a nigga with no car. Talking about the relish, I do not embellish. Jackie got wings, shoes got propellers. Gave all my own, my jealous. To my boy, my cellist. Pulled up with no laces, set the whole block jealous. Jesus Christ, I don't need advice. Why nigga life? Tell him read my rights. Man, it hot tonight. Look at what my eyes. 15 in the game, baby girl, I got stripes. Kanye dress me up like a doll. Then I hit six nine. Tell him give me the ball, bitch. This the dream team. Magic is I recall. Close squad on point. Bunch of Chris Pauls. I was out in Spain, rocking the Medusa head. I ain't never have to give a rap producer head. Uh. If I do though, I'ma write a book like Superhead. This ain't uh. one that did, I'm making this that super bread. Split splash, uh. fuck them in a hurry, quick fast. Still a pink wig, thick ass whiplash. Got him coming, coming, Roger over dispatch. Send my box is the best, he met his match. I got all these bitches wanting to be Barbie dolls. Barbie dream house, pink and purple marble walls. Put pull, pull up in that Barbie Rari fin. She threw dirt on my name, ended up at her own burial. Kanye dress me up like a doll. Then I hit six night. Tell him give me the ball, bitch. This the dream team. Magic is I recall. Whole squad on point. Bunch of Chris Paul. Kanye dress me up like a doll. Then I hit six night. Tell him give me the ball, bitch. This the dream team. Fifth is on call. Whole squad on point. Bunch of Chris Paul. Tiki Tiki Spanish mommy, she a hot tamale. Make them spend that money, dummy, go retarded for me. Pop it, pop it, pop it, she get started, she won't never stop it. Lil Dottie, Dottie, Roddy, choosing everybody. All right, so I haven't heard a ton of 6 9 music, okay? I have heard some of his biggest stuff. And personally, I think where he sounds best is on those highly aggressive, highly high energy aggressive kind of trap beats and he's like screaming on him i think he actually sounds pretty decent on those and he can make some bangers um with that style with this kind of auto-tune singing low stuff i don't know something about it doesn't really fit that well and like i said he he's not the most lyrical so i think him relying on his screaming and energy carries the fact that he can't really write that well in terms of bars because, I mean, some of the bars in here, like, she's thicker than a snicker, really, like, there's a lot of freestyle bars. And I call them freestyle bars because if you can think of it and you don't really rap that well and you're just freestyling and you can think of it like that, it's not that clever of a bar. It's not that good of a bar. It's not well-crafted. It's a very simple, easy, basic bar. And it's not impressive, right? That's where the skill of writing comes in. We're like, oh, that's nice. That's clever. Probably took a while to think of that. Or, like, that's just that top-tier stuff. 6 ix writing in here, didn't really care for, and his little auto-tune singing, his, his energy, his performance, didn't really care for either. So I think he was definitely the weakest in here. 
Then it went to Kanye. I didn't like the beginning of Kanye's, oh God, or whatever he was doing and starting off those first four bars. I didn't like the way he started off. I think it was too much. He probably should have just done two and moved on. But it was too kind of repetitive in that sense. It took a while to get going. Once Kanye did get going a little bit, it picked up. I was starting to vibe with his energy. He was bringing in a little bit more vocal performance and started to elevate the song. Then I was starting to get into it. Some of the, the lyrics were okay. Uh, he had a couple of decent bars in there. And we've elevated from 6 9 Then Nikki comes in, completely different story. She's got way better vocal performance, way more character, way more energy, better writing, flow switches. Like It just kept getting better and better and better. And when Nikki finally came in, I think that was the peak of the song. Now, her verse wasn't the best verse that I've ever heard from Nikki, but there were some solid bars in there. Enjoyed a handful of them. And I think she definitely added the most to the song. Without Nikki, this song would be very forgettable. If it was just 6 9 and Kanye, what a boring song, right? As it is, even with Nikki, the song as a whole is still very forgettable. I'm not going to be playing this back. It didn't. It was very basic. You know, I, I, I think the beat was pretty empty and nothing really happened in here that I was like, yo, I got to play that back. Nikki's is the best part for sure. But it's not good enough for me to keep coming back, right? So this, as a song, is a miss. It's a very interesting combo. The fact that 6 9 got with Kanye, and I think him and Nicki have done a few songs, but with Kanye and Nicki, it's a very weird matchup. But at the time, 6 9 was super, super popular. Popularity and attention is good for business, and he probably had the funds to definitely pay for the features at top premium, I'm sure. They, they charged him out the ass, and he got the money to... To buy it so interesting song don't really care for it um there's definitely other songs by all the artists that would rather listen to this one definitely missed for me so that'll do it for today's reaction video hope you guys enjoyed it if you did leave a like leave a comment down below it helps the channel grow helps the youtube algorithm if you're new here and you haven't done so hit that subscribe button i drop a video every day if you're not new here welcome back appreciate the love and support you all know what to do leave some comments down below what do you think do you like it do you not like it is this actually one of your favorite songs by any of these artists Highly doubt it, but everybody's different. Let me know. That comment section is for you. If you're a fan of any of the artists, 6 9 Kanye, Nikki, be sure to support the artist. Always support the artist, band, YouTuber, entertainer, whoever's making content or music for you. Support that person. So with all that being said, hope you're having a great day. Send them positive vibes your way. And until next time, I'm out.